your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. For the past seven years, the Buick LeSabre has been the best-selling full-size car in America. Now, with pointed success like that, changes were usually few and far between. But faced with advancing technologies and an interior design that was way long in the tooth, Buick designers took on the task of carefully re-engineering this 2000 LeSabre. So is the all-new full-size result sharper than ever? If so, Buick started its campaign for our sharper 2000 model year LeSabre sedan in a rather roundabout way. The latest LeSabre offers a smoother, rounder face to the world than its predecessor. The bumper, grille, headlights, and hood are better coordinated, giving the car a more youthful look, which carries over to the rear fascia with its slick new taillights. The LeSabre also looks more muscular for the new millennium, thanks to a new chassis borrowed from the current Oldsmobile Aurora with almost two inches wider track at both ends. Wheelbase has also been lengthened by 1.4 inches for a smooth ride total of 112.2 inches. The longer chassis is also significantly stiffer with features like a heavy duty unitized safety cage and integral five mile per hour bumper beam. A new hydro form cradle supports GM's long serving 3.8 liter V6 engine. In 2000 model year form, the 3800 Series 2 continues with 205 horsepower and 230 pound feet of torque, but now adds a crankshaft damper to reduce high frequency vibration, stiffer engine mounting brackets, and a higher volume exhaust system. And is paired with the also proven super slick hydromatic four speed automatic transmission, which together propelled our LeSabre Limited test car to 60 in 8.4 seconds and through the quarter mile in 16.4 seconds at 87 miles per hour. While impressive, that's actually a little slower than its predecessor, perhaps partly due to a 148 pound weight increase. But the full throttle experience is much more refined and the powertrain feels stronger throughout the ref band. The independent semi-trailing arm rear suspension is new and matched to a typical GM McPherson strut front. Our test car also boasts the optional grand touring package, which adds higher rate front springs, a rear stabilizer bar, and stickier 225-60R16 Blackwall touring tires. It all gives the full-size LeSabre a tight, nimble feel. It turns in quickly and stays planted, but side-to-side -side transitions are still a little abrupt, and the variable effort power steering offers very little feedback. At more sedate road speeds, however, these complaints rarely surfaced, and our drivers praised the LeSabre's smooth, non-floating ride and ultra-low interior noise levels, as well as the unobtrusive but very effective optional all-speed traction control system. Less praiseworthy was an average 21 miles per gallon fuel economy. With an EPA estimate of 19 city and 30 highway, we expected more. Stopping the LeSabre is accomplished with anti-lock equipped four-wheel disc brakes. A firm pedal stopped our test car from 60 in an average 137 feet. And despite a slight pull to the left when braking hard, our prototype felt solid and secure. Solid also describes the interior of the LeSabre Limited. Huge is another good word, and it boasts a seriously long list of standard features. The dash is similar to the High Brow Park Avenue and proved to be a mite tall for short drivers, but it's very modern and a highly efficient layout. Seat-mounted side impact airbags are standard, as is an all-new safe seat design that better supports the lower back and pelvis during rear impacts. A new self-aligning head restraint protects the neck while seat belts are now mounted on the seat itself. Though you'll at first appreciate them for their excellent back support and eight-way power adjustments. The analog gauges are not only larger and easier to read, but are much more comprehensive than those in most big sedans. The optional stereo with both cassette and CD players is set very high in the dash. Very nice, as are the steering wheel mounted stereo temperature and cruise control. We also like Buick's straightforward dual zone automatic climate controls with separate temperature switches on the passenger side door. Now some of us didn't care for the sheer size of the optional center console, while others praised its big cup holders and clever notepad holder. Everyone, however, liked the big rear seat with more adult size head and leg room than before. And the LeSabre Limited's convenient pass-through for long items like skis. Though with its cargo space increased to a full 18 cubic feet, there are few big items that won't fit in the trunk. 
In fact, probably the only thing about the Buick LeSabre that is not big is the price. The LeSabre Custom carries a modest base price of $23,505, the same as last year. Our LeSabre Limited starts at $26,310, and even with a pile of options, still only comes to $28,610. By the standards of most big family cars and even a few mid-sized ones, that's a real deal. Automobile Magazine agreed, saying that the LeSabre combines roominess with the refinement of a premium luxury sedan at a price that's compelling even to people who aren't on a fixed income. The Buick LeSabre has been America's best-selling full-size sedan for the last seven years, and with good reason. And with the introduction of the 2000 model year LeSabre, should easily retain its title. It's not so much a poor man's luxury car as a smart man's bargain. And despite all its impressive improvements, the sharpest thing about the all-new Buick LeSabre will still be the buyer behind the wheel.